and welcome to Sketch It Out Thursday with me, Helen. Thank you for joining us at the Crafty Maven. Well, once again, I forgot to look at the inspiration board. This is becoming a bad habit of mine. I got so involved in what I was doing, I brought these new papers from Kayser Craft. They're from the Misty Mountains collection. And I got so involved in them, I thought this photo looked great with them. Found a sketch I liked. It's a current one from Let's Get Sketchy. And I got so started and, well, once again, I forgot to look. However, I can tie it in slightly as there are butterflies in the inspiration piece for this month. And I did include quite a few butterflies. Colours? No, but never mind. I stuck pretty close to the sketch. It had three banners behind the photo, well, three vertical banners, and that's what I did. I used three of the patterned papers, mainly because I only bought three of them, but they were the three that I liked together. I turned them into banners, and you can see I used my um, cutting, what is it, my cutter, anyway, the grid on the cutter to actually position and find the middle of the strip so I could cut the banner evenly. Then I decided I've got to do some packaging technique on the back, on the background. I pulled out some of the distress inks because really, once again, this is the second attempt. Didn't like my first one. Didn't include that bit of the video. Tried it again with distress inks because it was a bit of a more muted colour. And the colours went well with the colours in the pattern paper. Added some splatters with some Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. And then I decided I needed to ink around all the pieces. So yeah, as you can see, another Distress Ink out, and that's exactly what I did. There was a banner going horizontally in the sketch, and I tossed and turned what colour to use, and in the end you'll see I'll use both of those colours, but that comes a bit later. I added a strip across the bottom, wasn't in the sketch, but I just, I don't know, I felt it finished it off nicely. And I had the embellishment pack from the Misty Mountains range and I went through them and found the pieces that I liked. I should have probably taken a good photo at that point because, I don't know, never seemed to get them back in the same arrangement. I'm still happy with how it ended up, but not quite the same. Here you can see I've decided to use both of the pattern papers and have a a double banner behind the photo. Ink those and I used the straight edge of the cardstock to line them up behind the photo. Quite happy with that. I thought right stick them down Helen let's make a decision put it down and then go from there. I decided to include a doily plus some thread and then mat it with some fun foam just to give it a bit of dimension and raise it slightly. Added a bit to the banners as well so that they sat up at the same height as the photo. The photo was taken a, a few years ago, just over four actually. We were going to one of my nephew's weddings. Well, that doesn't sound right. He certainly had one wedding. Anyway, to my nephew's wedding. And I got this photo of the boys and I quite like it. I love the affection you can see from them with me. Anyway, back to the photo. No, back to the layout. You can see I decided I wanted that little flower, so I stuck it behind the piece of patterned paper, trimmed it off, got the sewing machine out, and sewed away. You get to see the sewing today because I'm not actually scrapping in my scrapbook room. I did this on the weekend when I had a couple of my girlfriends over to stay and we had a scrapbooking time and I was scrapbooking at the kitchen table. So I thought I'll include that this time. And you can see fiddling around with that top placement, moved it three times before I was happy with it. Didn't quite leave enough room to put that flower, added a bit of extra thread behind that flower. And then here I'm fiddling around. You can see I actually included a little bit more thread 
there than original because once I started putting the flowers on, it was, you could hardly see it. So the cluster became quite big, so I added some more. And layering up the flowers. I liked that word loved, wasn't sure how I was going to use it. Eventually, there's another die cut word too that's blessed, and I include that in the title. Here you can see I picked this up, drop it, put glue all over it. I thought that might mean I have, would have to include a little embellishment cluster to that right hand side to cover up the glue, but luckily I managed to wipe it all off and you couldn't see. So, and here I go, oh, jumped a little bit. I included the word blessed. That ampersand I really liked, added a bit of journaling, and it's done. Thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed this process. Join along with the sketch. See you later for now. Bye.